Hey all Silver Plains here and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2 and we're gonna check out some more viewer levels so let's jump into it. Alright let's check out Toad's Cloud Road by Lomelin. It's a two checkpoint Kaizo in Team Jump. This one's rated 2. I'm not sure what the hardest uh, Team Jump level I've ever beat is rated either. I don't play a whole lot of Team Jump outside of popular so that was kind of cool. I like it so far. Alright, so you gotta time these jumps to uh, line up with the rocky wrenches. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can hit the second rocky wrench as he's coming out of the pipe to buy yourself more time, but who needs that? Um, alright, yep. Just going. Okay, cool. And then we're in a key door. Is this a checkpoint? It is. Yay! Okay, fun stuff. Pretty readable so far, I'm just going with the flow. Okay. Nice, nice. Are we in there? Is this another checkpoint? No. Absolutely not. Holy cow! Okay. Okay, cool. I know what I'm doing there, though. Okay, trying this again. That is some scary stuff. Okay, and then I guess we go here. Hey, look at that, we got another checkpoint. Okay, I didn't even try to time that, but I see what I need to do there. Alright, so timing is everything. We gotta really just go for it at the beginning of this section. This part's cool because I've experimented with controlled and full jumps, and you bounce on the wiggler either way, which is just awesome. Okay, push me off, sir. We are in there. Are we out of there? We are. Wow, that level was absolutely phenomenal. Loved it. Very, very fun. First section, I would say, was the hardest, and then it kind of got easier. I don't know if that's because I got used to Lomelin's playstyle or just because I'm warming up today. Who knows? But it was a great level. Uh, definitely going to submit that clear to Team Jump. Let's move on to another one. Next up is How to Keep Warm in Alaska by Gringo DK. It's a two checkpoint light Kaizo platformer and a 1.9% clear rate. So very close to uh, the last level's clear rate. This one's a little bit higher. So far are we staying warm. Okay cool this is a really great level so far i just barely missed jumping on the switch but i definitely see what i need to do and i don't feel like that death was in any way the fault of the maker or the level design it's just me looping back a little too far that's all it is okay let's try this again there, we did it Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you for the vines, because I didn't even come close. I didn't even come close, man. Wait, oh, okay. I was going immediately for the arrow. I pulled back a little bit there. I see exactly what I need to do, though. Dang it, man. I was on a roll. Okay, so we go like this, and then this, and this. Yeah. Okay, easy peasy. <laughs> Thank you again for the vines. Oh, I love vined up pipes. Gringo knows. He knows how to make a good up pipe. I put vines on it. I do have levels where I don't have vines on my up pipes, but they're few and far between. Usually I throw them on there. Even even in the hard ones, or especially the hard ones, because it's just too rude to make someone go through a whole bunch of, like, hard Kaizo tricks, and then... Whoa, okay, I wasn't ready for that one to be so fast. But it's rude to make someone go through a bunch of hard Kaizo tricks and then have them bonk on an uppipe. In a way, it's also funny. There are masochist players out there that like that kind of thing, but I'm not really one of them. 
So the thwomps in this section are proving to be a little bit difficult, just a little bit. Okay, please, yeah, 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 just a little. We made it. That was a fun level. I really enjoyed that one as well. Just great stuff, good flow. Everything worked perfectly and was very readable, and the deaths, those were on me. All right, let's try Kaizo Pain Castle. TSTNM by SMWP91. It is under a percent clear rate, so pretty hard. But yeah, we'll we'll give it a go and see how uh, how I do. I don't know if this is an official Team Shell level or not, but I guess we'll see. And I'm also not sure if there's like. Okay, do I reclaim there? Whoa. So the level drops you right in. Okay, cool. So you hold right, and then, yeah, you're reclaiming, I believe. This is tricky. So you gotta hold right, but then you gotta pull back to reclaim that. Okay, gotcha. It's a cool level though, I really like this. These setups are unique and they're fun, but... Whoa. The munchers, man, before that checkpoint, why? Could minus just a couple, just enough to make it a little easier. Okay. Complained about it, but it was fine. Now what are we doing? Okay, a little Thwomp Surf. New section, baby! Oh, wow. I was not expecting a P-Switch. I noticed it as I landed on it. That's fine, though, because you know what? We got a checkpoint. So, that makes sense why the... The level doesn't have practice doors, because at least it has, uh, checkpoints. Or a checkpoint, I don't know if it has multiples, but we're making good progress now. I'm feeling really good about this section. Uh, throw that a little bit later. Yeah, I feel really good about this section. This stuff is super cool. Love these setups. All right, that's a really like hold heart, right? Oof. Bye, Yoshi. I guess we're leaving you behind. Hey, you know what? I like the pea balloon. I always go between pea balloon or the cape. What's my favorite SMW power up? And pea balloon is really fun, especially when used effectively. But so is the cape. Cape tech can be really hard. Um, I'm not that great at Cape Tech, and I do enjoy the pea balloon aspect of, like, precision and stuff. But yeah, okay, so overall, that level is super fun. That is approvable in Team Shell. If you submit it to Team Shell, just join the Discord and, uh, yeah, add level. I would gladly approve this. I don't think it's an official Team Shell level. Let me check real quick, though, because you never know. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing the level in Team Shell, but it has the TS tag on it. So please join our Discord, submit that level. I will approve it personally. And there are other maker or players and makers in that team that will also play it. It would actually get this level a lot more plays probably and a lot more exposure. It's it's a great course. All right, this is a level by Regalia7. Pick your path, Searing Struggle. A series for beginners and pros. Blue equals easy, red equals hard. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the red path, and we'll see how we do on it. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Wow, okay, that's a bit controlled. Okay, so... 
Yes. Oh my god, it's a hammer, bro. Okay, we gotta take our time with this guy. Get me in there. Okay. That's pretty neat. Oh, geez, the timing is honestly insane there. Alright, here we go. Red pipe path, my biggest regret. <laughs> This is a pretty insane level. That part's not too bad after getting used to it a little, but still pretty insane. I don't like this hammer bro at all. You gotta wait for him to do his hop and then it's like, okay. Oh, please. What? That's so stretched, are you kidding me? Wow. Was this even play tested? Is that possible? Cause I feel like I had as much momentum as possible. Like, seriously, I don't know how, um, how doable that is. That's such a tight, stretched jump. After all that, I just don't know. Okay. Oh, jeez, what? the heck, man? That's insane. Do a little hop, please. Thank you. The hop is when you know you're safe. No, that is so ridiculously tight, dude. That is so hard. I almost did it once, so I know it's at least kind of possible, but like, what the heck, man? hate this hammer, bro. Do your little hop so I can go around you safely. Oh, jeez. I almost didn't have enough time there. Mmm, this is disgusting, dude. I threw it too early again. Why is this the worst thing ever? Holy cow. Add one more on-off switch, add one more tile so you have like a three tile gap to throw that shell. That would be phenomenal. That would be just too good to be true. Okay. Hello? Oh my god. Okay, there's more? I can't believe there's more. Okay, there's vines on that up pipe. That made me feel safe and secure. We actually did the red path. I can't believe it. But we're doing another red path, but I don't have that much time left, so... Hopefully this one's alright. Hello? Alright, that's... that's a little... Eh, it's alright. It's okay. Am I supposed to have a mushroom for this? We may see what the blue path is like, I don't know. Okay, the the timing is a little bit, like, odd. You can't see the shell. So, you know, when you're making these jumps to the on and off blocks, at least you can't see the shell. Okay, and then once I hit that red one, I just need to Z right away. It's fine. This is alright. Hard path for the win. So stop, wait. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Is that shell still doing stuff? The way that these switches go on and off feels very uncomfortable. I feel like it should be faster, but it's not, so... Nope, 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 not doing it. I think we're almost through this section, maybe? My, my hopes might be wrong, but...
too fast, man. I'm too- these switches activate way too slow. They really do. It's so awkward, the- hmm, I just wish they were a little faster. But then in other parts, I think they're activating too fast, so I don't know. Wait a minute. Is that good? Was that right? Holy cow. Did we do it? My god. Look at that. We did the hard path, baby. Alright, now, for fun, we're gonna go through the easy path and see what that's like in this level, because... Yeah, I'm, I'm just a little curious. Levels that have two different routes are really fun and interesting, and I want to see the other route now that we've done the hard stuff. Alright, easy time. Easy mode. Okay. Yep, this is pretty, pretty alright so far. Patience. I should have grabbed that turtle shell. Oh, hey, look, a spike. Yeah, that's way better than a hammer, bro. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Patience with these burners is a must. Okay, cool. I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm just being patient. Not too bad. That, uh, that blue path is definitely pretty chill. Let's see how this lower part goes now. Okay, we still got some changing. But we can use the turtle to avoid the blocks for that one at least. Um, hmm, I feel like I should have hit that with my head. I bet if I was a big Mario, it would have hit. Mm -hmm. This is not good. I'm sure it's not good. Like, yeah, that, do I need that? Is so interesting. Maybe we're okay? I think we're okay, even without hitting whatever that block was supposed to be for. We're totally fine, and we brought our friend the turtle shell with. Yeah, good level, very fun. I liked both paths. The red one was definitely a lot harder. So, I mean, the description didn't lie. Regalia 7 kept it real with us. And yeah, Regalia 7, uh, he stops by the channel sometimes. Good guy. I've featured some of his levels in previous videos for this series. And it's just been kind of fun playing viewer levels again. And I was thinking about him and wanted to check out one of his old levels. So there you have it. It was a good time, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop some level ideas or maker ideas into the description if you want me to check anything out, and, you know, I'll give it my best shot. Not making any promises, though, but yeah, hope you all have a good day. Much love, good vibes. I'll see you in the next one.